I'm going to show you how to set up proper video lighting with only two lights. Now you're going to see there's one light directly behind me. There's also one right in front of me, which I'm currently touching. Now, one huge mistake I see people make all the time is they try and have one light or two lights in front of them, but they don't have a light in the back of the room. And that light back there is way more important than you think. That light is putting highlights on the top of my head, the top of my chair, the top of my shoulders, and helping me separate from the background. So what we have back there is one flat panel panel LED light a lot like this and it's tilted backwards so the light is bouncing up at the ceiling and coming forward at the same time and that's putting those highlights there and dimly lighting the room. The one in front of me is what we call the key light and the one behind me is basically acting as a, just a general background light and a hair light at the same time. At one time I was using two of the flat panel LEDs but part of me always kind of wanted to try out a cob light as the key light and one day I did. I think the two flat panel LEDs by GVM were doing a great job, but this is a tiny 60 watt light that basically fits in the palm of your hand and weighs next to nothing. I throw that on my light stand and I put a 26 inch small rig lantern softbox on it and bam, you pretty much have the perfect lighting setup with only two lights. So the light in front of me is at a 45 degree angle and roughly one arm length away. So it lights up one side of my face just a little more than the other and that gives me a really nice lighting setup. But for most rooms two lights is going to be more than sufficient. The GVM flat panel behind me is roughly on 25% brightness and like I said the little guy in front of me is on 2% brightness. Your lens, your camera, and your camera settings plus how far away the light is from your face will determine how bright this needs to be. I have a 1.4 lens meaning it lets in a lot of light so it's great for low light situations. If I were to change lenses or have the light further away from me I may, may need to turn this up to a much brighter setting like 10% or 15%, but generally, if you turn this up a lot, uh, you might just end up with something like that. So one really high quality key light and one really high quality background slash hair light type of deal will really give you great lighting. And if you're only purchasing two lights, you're probably gonna be able to spend a little bit more on each light. And if you want to, you can always buy a couple of small LED lights to shine on the back walls just to get a little bit of that bright colored ambient lighting in as well. But two high quality lights is probably going to be cheaper than buying a whole four or five light setup that's not quite as good. You can buy a cheap $20 key light or you can buy key lights that cost a couple thousand dollars. But you know, for a few hundred dollars, you can get two really, really, really nice lights. So one key light about an arm's length away, you can place it directly in front of you or at a 45 degree angle. But most of us would suggest the 45 degree angle. And then one light in the back behind you, preferably balancing off the ceiling, will give you you a great lighting look. You will find an Amazon link to these items and a bunch of other awesome items in the pinned comment and in the video's description. So you might want to check that out if you're looking to get some new lighting, a new camera, a new microphone, anything like that, or some Waves audio plugins. I'll put an affiliate link for Waves audio plugins in there as well. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. You guys are amazing. Lighting it out. Have an awesome day. See ya.